presenting the dazzling new desire, the best and beyond. And we thought Aniket Verma is uh, the intelligence we gather is a highly rated middle order bat for Hyderabad. And if you put him there, and if he's a certainty to start, then the other pieces fall into place. So you have Kishan at three, uh, the rest of the batting picks itself, and Abhinav Manohar, like I said, for Summer's role, Cummins the captain, Harshal and Shami, Shaher and Zampa win what we m we think might be a two-man leg spin or wrist spin attack, which is quite bold and creative. Let's get reactions. Sri Ram. Yeah, the top six is pretty scary. You know, they've got the firepower to get to 100 every game. Even if two or three in that top six can come off, then they can. And they've managed their bowling, I would say. Uh, they were a better bowling attack last year, mm -hmm. but they've managed it. Uh, and I think that the prospect of playing two leggies is very interesting. I'm just wondering what their power play bowling will be, because uh, Harshal Patel doesn't bowl power play. Zampa has to bowl, Chahar has to bowl. Shami is one, Pat Cummins is not a very, he's not a new ball bowler, so I, I wonder what their power play bowling will be. Yeah, I mean, Shami certainly is going to have a big role to play in the power Can't play. Can't bowl both ends. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We have to find the second, we have to find the second <laughs> partner for Mohamed Shami. I mean, Simarjit is known to be a swing bowler, but whether, yeah. whether you can fit him in there, yeah. Yeah, possibly. I mean, a lot of teams have the strategy let's, of spending a lot of money on their first 12 and then buying everyone else at base price. SRH's strategy was to spend a lot of money on their first nine mm. and then buy everybody else at base price. Because they spend a lot of money on just eight or nine players. Yeah. Even after having, I think, spent the second most on the retentions, they then went for Ishan Kishan and Shami for about 21, mm. which left them more or less nothing. And then they got Harshal. So they had very little to spend today. Uh, but I think considering all that, it's actually a fairly decent first 11 or 12. But yeah, backups, I think, will be the issue, right? Because they're not... A lot of big name backups there, but maybe their scouting has been good and some of the younger players will provide adequate backup. All right, Tom Moody on SRH and Sridham's question on their power play concerns. Yeah, I look, I agree with that. I think the, their bowling looks to be a little bit vulnerable. I quite like the idea of the two leg spinners in the playing 11. Uh, they're two very different uh, leg spinners. Zampa can bowl power play, but, you know, he's, he's a master in the middle uh, overs but he can offer you an over in the power play. A lot sort of is hinging on Mohamed Shami being fit and being that spearhead that Bhuvaneshwar Kumar had, has been for many, many years for Sunrisers. Um, and there's no guarantee that's going to happen. So if something happens to him, you know, I think there's going to be some serious uh, holes in their bowling unit. Uh, there's no question they're going to have the power of the bat. They've, you know, they've shown that last year. Uh, they've only added to that with Ishan Kishan, which to me was a, a puzzling um, decision to spend that money on him when they could have invested that more on the bowling side uh, and and looked at a, a more of an economical Indian option to come in at number three. Personally, I think it's really exciting prospect to see Zampa play a full IPL season. I mean, he's become um, such a such a dominant performer at international level for Australia. And yet I think the most games he's ever played in a single IPL season is only about five or six. Um, so the prospect of him actually getting a full run at 14 games and us, you know, learning whether or not he's uh, the real deal, whether he's going to take 20 plus wickets, I, I feel confident that he's going to thrive under that uh, management of Cummins and, and Dan Vittori. But um, I think that'll be a really interesting thing to watch over the course of the year. Overall, I think it's probably not quite as strong as last season, but um, I still think, you know, looking through that batting lineup, it's going to be very difficult to shut them down. Mm. All right. And on that note, let's get ratings. Matt, kick us off with the rating. Yeah, I'll start with an eight. Mm, okay, that's, that's good score. Tom? Uh, I'm at a seven and a half. Mm. Okay. Great arm. I'm at a seven. Seven for Sridham. Yeah, I'd also go seven and a half. Hmm. Seven and a half. Dustin, I'm going to go for seven. Yeah, I think there's still some concerns around the depth of that squad, but who cares about their bowling options if they yeah. post 280 and 300. 270 and whatnot. Presenting the dazzling new desire, the best and beyond.